In today's video, we take a look at a woman who got pregnant by another man while she was in the middle of a divorce, and this man who told his girlfriend to leave after she cheated on him. I don't care what you don't want to do. I didn't want you to cheat on me, but you did. You can't, you constantly saying cheating, 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 cheating. But why was I cheating? Why wasn't that, I with I, you? I, it don't even matter. Why? No more. Why, why? Because you, you wasn't there. You act like you do not want a family. I you act like you don't want to get married. All you want to do is shower me with okay, money, you cars, and stuff like that. So I want kids. Leave, I want a family. Leave, okay, I want love. And we're going to have, have that. And no, we're going to have no, that. We, you're the one who's the Mario is out the question. He's out the question. Mario's child is in your stomach. What are you talking about? And you're going to take care of it. I'm not taking care of it. Why? Why can't you take care of it? That's not my kid. Why am I taking care of that I did not make? That makes zero sense. You can't take care of the child. I'm why why don't you want to take care of the child? Because he's not mine. He or she he is, is not mine. I, bro, it's a boy. It's a boy. That's cool. It's Junior. Boy. Junior. Yeah, Mario Demar Junior. No, no. We're going to call him Dwayne I'm, Junior. I'm not Junior. To with you. Can you go in the car, please? Look, I'm not trying to hear can that. I'm not trying to hear that. We need to go in the house. We can send you you got me arguing outside with these family. Go see, this in is the car then. You see what I'm saying? You got me doing all this ghetto mess. Bruh. Ghetto mess. You cheated on me with my homeboy. We've been cool since seventh grade. We done all went to homecoming together. Hey, that's prom, all of that. That's who you decide to have a kid with. Not even that's a stranger, though, my homeboy. Because what have you... All I'm telling you, all you do is send me money, buy me this, buy me that. Right, that's what everyone wants. What are you complaining for? Because like, you're I, want grateful. Kids. I want kids. I want And you're about to have a kid. So go in the car and the, go be family. with the man that you about to have want, a kid We're going to have this family. Bro, I'm not, no, I don't have like, nothing else Can you please stop walking? Can you just is she serious? That she is asking him to take care and father another man's child? And if she really wants to have a family, then why has she came back to him? Because as she said, he is not giving her what she wants. So just leave this man alone and go back to the guy who you have slept with or has he thrown you out and is not willing to wait for you just like this woman who could not wait here i am pregnant with another man's baby while i'm in the middle of a divorce i'm literally just answering questions and explaining i'm not complaining about it being complicated um we literally made this decision it wasn't like oops we got pregnant we do a lot of adult things on a regular basis um, without protection i'm extremely fertile um we wanted a baby um, and so we decided to have a baby. None of the legal issues are enough to stop us from wanting to have another baby. So while I know a lot of people are giving us legal advice and this will be on this paper and this will be on that paper, we don't care. We have legal teams in both Maryland and in Virginia that are already working on it and prepared to handle everything that we have to handle in order for our baby to be protected. Um, but none of those things were reason enough for me to say, I'm not gonna have this baby. I'm not just gonna go and unalive my baby because I might have to go sit in a courtroom. We have to take a DNA or paternity test. I don't give a crap. Having this baby, I'm excited about it. It's brought a lot of hope um, to our family and that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, it's messy, but so are you. I mean, you just don't get on the internet and talk about it, probably because you're still ashamed. What I recommend is some healing, water, and um, yeah. If you're gonna be ratchet, just own it. That's all you need to do, just own it. I've got a new question for you guys. Why do you think guys no longer want to get married? Here's what I think. I think MGTOW men have allowed themselves to be influenced by social media into believing that all women are feminists or feminazis. But in real life, you can tell people what you're looking for and what it is that you want. There are women out there that are looking for something that could be very much alike to what you're looking for. Maybe you've been hanging out with shallow or greedy people. And well, maybe that's on you and what you've been putting out there. But I think women don't reflect what the media says about them. And neither should you. Now, what's your opinion? Yeah. But what about the 50% divorce rate, which is so high because women initiate 80% of the divorces and also hasn't she heard that only women, children, and dogs are loved unconditionally? Men are only loved when they provide something, and the man that provides some value gets his life destroyed because most modern women are only after a guy's money, as shown in this clip here. This shit is about money. You've hired three law firms trying to fucking suck me dry. I'm approaching a million dollars in legal fees, and we had a prenup. You already tried to ask me to come back. You already tried to reconcile. I told you I was in a relationship. Everything about the way you left me was heartless. It was evil. You never considered me, your marriage, and let alone your innocent one-year-old child. She had to celebrate her second birthday apart. So if you had people in your ear at the time, they must be still in your ear. 
because you're still trying to get $20,000 a month for a five-year-old. You make $160,000 a year on your own. This is all a game. You're clout chasing, playing on single mothers and their emotions, playing on women that are actually in abusive relationships and fucked up marriages that are toxic and dark and dysfunctional. That's not what, what, what that was. What he said is absolutely true, because when women like her who are not victims of any kind take advantage of the legal system, then it makes the life of the real victims 100 times harder, because no one wants to believe them. And what he said about her daughter's birthday and everything she has done to him is beyond evil. There are no excuses for her actions, but the modern women can have an excuse for almost everything, as shown in this clip here. Did you cheat on me? I was ovulating. You don't know women. You haven't grown up with women. My my body, I was just listening to my body. We are chemically created. I have this chemical thing in me where I have to reproduce my body. I was just listening to my body, you know? Um, I was at the club. There was a man there, cute, a couple drinks in. I was like, my body was like, reproduce. What are you talking? So you're blaming science for you cheating? Yes, on me. I had no control. Okay, yeah, you didn't have to go home with them. You obviously don't understand what it's like being a woman. Like my body is chemically built so that I have to reproduce, and I was just listening to my body while I was ovulating. My All body right. was screaming. All right, well, my eggs were like, let me intertwine with his sperm. So All right, fine. Know. I cheated on you too. You know how it worked. What? I cheated on you too. Then. What the fuck? Your body's not built the same way. You're an asshole. Okay, I didn't Fuck cheat on you. you. I just wanted to see what, how, how you like it. It fucking sucks. Men suck. You guys oh my are the God. worst. Although I doubt how true this clip is, but if it's true, then this here might just be the most pathetic excuse a woman has given for her behavior, and if she continues on this path, then she is going to regret it, just like this woman here. One night stands made me feel emboldened. But in reality, I was using sex like a drug, trying unsuccessfully to fill a hole inside me with men. Pun intended. I told myself I didn't care. I didn't care when a man ghosted me. Uh, I didn't care when he left in the middle of the night or hinted that he wanted me to leave. The walks of shame, the blackouts, the anxiety. The lie I told myself for decades was, I'm not in pain, I'm empowered. I knew it would be hard to read this. <sighs> Looking back, it isn't a surprise that I lied to myself because from a young age, sex was something I was lied to about. When your mom asked you to go to Home Depot right after you do your hair and makeup, <laughs> period. Do I need to go to low suit while we're at it, while I'm already out, like? <laughs> because can a man understand that when you are young, you are not, I'm not saying I slept with a hundred people, no, but no, 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 you know, no. I, I would go and meet yeah, different guys and life, yeah, yeah, like I had a different outlook. So can a man still have the right to say, you know, I don't want to, okay, fair enough. You were getting gang banged at 14, like fucking hell, I totally get it. And, but I just think like, can a man look at you and think you're a hoe, even though you've gone through that growth and you're not that person and you haven't slept with anybody for four or five years?